Hello! Let's see how we can design a dodecahedron in Autodesk Theorem 360. There are certainly many ways to design a dodecahedron or any other platonic solid. Uh, here we are going to use the uh, idea of a dihedral angle and also take advantage of the symmetries we have within a platonic solid like this. For example, I have a dodecahedron here which has 12 faces. Each face is a regular pentagon, and the pentagon has a center. You can imagine one there, or you can construct it. And from the center to uh, uh, one of its uh, vertices, there's a radius, and you can use that to constrain uh, or dimension a pentagon, or you can use these edges. All right, there's certainly many ways to design a uh, pentagon and uh, the whole thing. All right, first, let's look at what a dihedral angle is. Anytime we have two intersecting planes or faces in space, we have a dihedral angle, which is just the uh, angle of intersection between these two planes. For example, I have a pentagon here, another pentagon here to the right, and uh, this angle the, between the two blue lines is called the dihedral angle. Uh, with a little bit of vector calculus, we can find the dihedral angle between two planes, or we can just use uh, the angle as a reference. You can go to Wikipedia or any other reliable source to find uh, the angles. Uh, for example, I have uh, here a list of all these dihedral angles. Tetrahedron, cube, and hexahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, icosahedron. In particular, for the dodecahedron, is pi minus arctangent of 2. Uh, in degrees, it's about 116.56 degrees. All right, so that's the angle between those two planes. Uh, in the case of extrusion, uh, in theorem 360, we need um, the extruding angle. It's the angle between this uh, red line, which is perpendicular to the floor, uh, to and between this red line and the green line, which connects this point to the center of this dodecahedron, right? And because of symmetry, we have a center there, and this angle is what we need. And if you look at this picture, you'll see that this extruding angle or, or taper angle is just 90 degrees minus one half of the dihedral angle. So, in our case, this angle is going to be. Uh, one half of arc tangent two, makes sense. Since we we are extruding toward the center, and this angle is going to be negative. All right, we're okay. Um, so it's always good to analyze how things are related. Um, you can do the same thing for uh, the octahedron or icosahedron if you like. All right, let's go to Theorem 360 and see how we can design. The dodecahedron. Start a new design. Um, let's define two parameters or variables, and one is going to be the face uh, radius. We know what we are doing, and start with the 25 millimeters if you like, or anything. And we also need a um, taper angle, right? Uh, let's call it T angle. Um, it's going to be in degrees. Um, degree there. Um, all right, it's going to be uh, negative a tangent. And it's, called, it's not arc tangent, a tangent. The same thing. All right, it's about a negative thirty-one point seven degrees. So we have those two uh, parameters defined. Let's go ahead and sketch a pentagon and uh, somewhere in the x y plane, and we need a polygon. Inscribe polygon, either one is fine, and as long as we know what we are doing, you can do an edge polygon. So we're starting from the uh, center, and we need uh, we need five uh, vertices, and we need the uh, you're just using the tab, or you can dimension it later if you want to. Uh, face radius is going to be that. Um, oh, face radius. Press enter. So we're we're good. So we have a pentagon, and we need a 12 of this, uh, specially arranged in space to make that um, dodecahedron, right? Stop sketching. Now, 
we have this regular pentagon on the floor. We, we are going to extrude this at a certain angle for that part of the dodecahedron. So go to create. Oh, we don't need that. Hmm. Let's delete this. I'll go back. Oh, I just finished form. I really don't need that the form. I just delete it. So I'm going to uh, select extrude and extrude this pentagon. And as far as you can, if you want to, say, um, how about uh, three times the face radius? And put a large number there. Oh, so we forgot the uh, taper angle. Let's go back and, and uh, edit this feature. So we need to add this uh, taper angle, which is the T angle, uh, T angle we defined earlier. So we now have this wedge, right? Uh, it's you can call this a pentagonal pyramid if you like we need a 12 of these wedges to make that um, dodecahedron and we know uh, there's a lot of symmetry within the dodecahedron so you can use um, mirror images or you can use rotation and or both of them if you want to so we need one here we need one there um, so let's go to create and find a mirror. I'm going to cre create a mirror of this um, pyramid. Uh, it's a body. And I'm going to use select a mirror plane. Any of these triangles will do, right? To that one. Now, we have uh, two wedges, right? So we need 12 of these uh, to go all around to make that the dodecahedron. Uh, at this point, you can just mirror around, or you can use rotation and uh, rotate this one. Uh, all around the other one and so you have six of them and at that point you can continue to mirror around or make a copy so there's so many ways to do the same thing and to save time and uh, I'm going to use uh, this uh, design I made a while ago so you can see and uh, there's one uh, two right and three four five six seven eight nine ten you two more eleven and twelve now we have a twelve uh, pentagonal pyramids arranged in space just mirror you know the same one around until you have a um, closed uh, solid it's just not quite one solid and then we can combine them and it could modify and choose combine and uh, here I have that feature uh, selected is just uh, combine you know, select one and then select all of them okay and join them into one body so this is a platonic solid if you want to you can export it in to an STL file and print it and should be okay now that easy and sometimes uh, we want to highlight uh, you can stop here or move on the edges or the skeleton of this whole you know, structure. So to do that, um, we can see I have all these um, features there. Uh, I'm going to show and how things uh, can be um, very easily constructed in DRN 360. So we can shell this whole thing. For example, I can select a face, go to modify and choose shell and uh, and define the, uh, the, the wall thickness, how about two millimeters. So now we have something like a, a bottle, a, a jar, a vase, if you like. And okay, you can print this out if you want to. Or if you like, you can, you can show things all around. I'll delete this one and uh, move on. So that's one. So I, I selected two faces. Uh, so now this is the shell with the two holes there and you can do the same thing to uh, I want to select all the 12 faces and do the you know uh, the shell um, operation but it doesn't work so uh, to make a skeleton and we can shell each one of these faces just to choose um, this one and the inside one and uh, let, me, let me do it okay uh, modify shell or choose this face and then there's one inside right 
and then it's, it's going to ask you how thick uh, do you want the wall to be, two millimeters, for example, or you can go back and define a parameter. If you make sense. And now we have this edge. It's a uh, uh, it's a two by two, almost like um, I think it's um, prism. All right, all around. And so you can do uh, the same thing uh, to all the twelve faces. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, all of them. So now we have a dodecahedron and um, totally empty inside, and we have all these bars connecting these vertices. Each bar is uh, 2 by 2, right? If you do a cross-sectional cut, and of course you can come back and redefine the thickness of uh, each bar or the, the wall uh, when you when you did the, the shedding. Makes sense? There, uh, 2 millimeters. Uh, so if you really like, you can just uh, go back and define a pr uh, parameter or variable and then play with it. Does that make sense? Looks pretty now. You can export it and uh, print it. You can do the same thing to any other platonic solid, uh, like a ski drawn and uh, go around. This is another thing I played with. So let's go back along the timeline to uh, here. Um, you know, uh, dodecahedron, has, dodecahedron has all these edges, and uh, if you follow these edges, there's some like something like a waste all around, right? So we can create some pipes for example I can go so uh, let, let me just show it all right um, go create a pipe where here pipe right I'm gonna select a loop from here and press control here it could go all around if you want to just uh, learn how to play in a 3d space make a loop you can go back and forth and make a loop you like then you can cut all around, uh, choose a section size or section shape, you can choose a circular or triangular or square, uh, circular is fine for me. I want the section size to be uh, you know, five millimeters if you like. Cut, uh, how, how about a new body? Uh, so, so now we have this, a, a pipe and going all around this um, dodecahedron like so it's very easy to play with right and uh, suppress this feature and go back to the very end I like this one all right uh, so that's all I have to say and uh, using uh, the uh, dihedral angle and also the symmetries of uh, platonic solid we can just use one function mirror okay, mirror things around and uh, construct a solid and then play with it. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you have fun with design.